You get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love. Love, I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think. What present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan, because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. <sighs> Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up.
better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Don't get upset, Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic, even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am going to eat you for lunch. Oh, no! It's a wolf! Let's run! Don't worry. Our Cuba, he's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I'm burnt! Oh, no, no! Lada, stop! Oh, oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, Be yourself, and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.
little Blizzy. Whoa, a pine cone! But I saw it first! Mama Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! No! Let's go! Martens! Target detected! The spotted one and the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter! Let's go to Mappa! Oh, he'll be so happy! <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter! <laughs> Whatever! Spike! Just to be clear, when are we gonna start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah. Where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mappa Pandiga, tell us, please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle on the top of the highest mountain where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then, be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Oh, dear me! I think it's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? Angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Quickly, quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, Mappa Pandiga. We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. <laughs> we need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry. And the tiger won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! Someone 
wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop! There she goes! Stop right there! Hey! Blizzy! Hey! Hey! We give you the Blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter. And everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get Blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about her stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike, we take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike! The Blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave! What? Say what? A little more, and the whole taiga will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now! Here! This is where she fell through! We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo! Ugh. Okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! Hello? I think we should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Lizzie! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty, it's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> and who is that? Oh, Leo, look here. It's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow! Tig, you're a genius! Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right. So we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> your mom? Let's go. We know the right way. Ha <laughs> ha! 
れて。The Silver River. Are you sick? Oh no, I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river, and it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh hey, Leo! I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River, just like in my dream. <gasps> Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! This is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo. There's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh dear, we've upset our friend, and on his birthday too. Um. Mapa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday, um. and he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River. <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mapa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon. Named Mazu, he was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order, and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river, and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up, but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done, so they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver. But only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> And how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Good、I'll、idea. save him.、Yeah. And then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and and what is that dangerous place? It's、uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the Spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. 
<laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially the cool. Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah! Hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> Go! Go over there! To the very edge! I can't see anything! Yeah. <laughs> 
T-Bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> you sleepy heads. Yo, line up. Suck in that gut. And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow. Ready and aim. With you. Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here. Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain! Buy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses. Aye, the spy glass, Captain. Helm to port. Aye, helm to port. Ensign, hoist the colors. Aye, hoisting the colors. the boat out! When you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <laughs> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> That is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? Ha 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 ha! Why don't you give it another try? Well then. Have you figured it out what the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course. Go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah! Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! 
Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar! We'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you because your crew is quite wonky. You were the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't Whoa. even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! Tig! Help me! <laughs> Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! ho. No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do! So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <gasps> hmm. <Help>! What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Member is now ours and the ship as well. <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! Guys, remember when we're together, we're strong. Martins. Don't worry about it. 
You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? <laughs> twigs! Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken one at a time, but are strong together. Well, let's set sail. The desert island is waiting for us. And sign, hoist the colors. One, two, three, four. An old friend. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, no, 11, here I'll be found 12, right away. 13, 14, 15, this won't work 16, either. Oh, so where should I hide? 19, 20, 23, 24, 25. And I'm done counting. Ready or not, here I come. All right. Leo, here I come. Wow, this is a sweet hiding spot. Tiggle have to look for me till nightfall. Whoa. Whoa. You are? Uh, 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 Leo! Catch me! Uh, uh, me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! Hey, Tink, what about me? <laughs> Tink, wait for me! That was so cool. Let's do it again. Totally. <laughs> Leo, where'd you get this nest anyway? From a tree. <laughs> where else? But what if this nest belongs to somebody? Well, you know, the nest is empty. And if it's empty, it means it's abandoned. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming! Just a second! Tig, let's just put it away now and come back later for more riding. All right. Push it this way. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna leave without you! <sighs> Mila, wait for us! Okay. So today, I'm going to tell you quite an amazing story. When the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it off with shouts. Mappa, who's that flying over there? The crows? <laughs> You're a crow, Mila. <laughs> they are eagles. Easy, easy, children. <laughs> Don't fight. Those are storks. They are coming back to their nests after the winter. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! We're flying home, my friend. <laughs> It's so wonderful to see an old friend when you come back home. And who is that? Children, I want you to meet Theodore, an old friend of mine, a stork. Mr. Theodore, was it a difficult journey? Well, as they say in the far land of China, the journey to your family nest begins with a single wing stroke. You know what, children? I'm going to tell you the story of the stork. Oh, wow. I'd be happy to hear that, too. All right, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stork. Was he all alone? Yes, all alone. All by his lonesome in his giant nest. But then the stork decided to find himself a girlfriend. One day, high in the sky, right under the clouds, he saw a beautiful lady. Only it turned out that this beautiful lady is the daughter of the strongest wind, who didn't want to share her with anyone. The wind came down, ooh, and pulled the stork's nest apart. 
But the stork wasn't about to give up. He built a new nest, much stronger than the previous one. And that's when the wind realized that the stork is a worthy fiancé for his daughter, persistent and courageous. Ever since that time, storks come back to their nests every year, and the families they build last for their entire lives. Mr. Theodore, do you also have a girlfriend? Well, a stork with a nest has everything. You know what? Come visit me. It's close on the top of that hill. Tig, I have a bad feeling that the nest we found might have an owner after all. Really? And who is he? The nest is gone. Wha what do you mean, gone? Completely gone! Maybe the wind blew it away. No wind could do that! It was the sturdiest nest in the entire taiga! Oh, no, no, no. My Theodora's gonna be here any minute. Oh, you haven't seen her angry. That's it. It's all over. Don't you worry, sir. We'll help you. Leo and I will find it in no time. Let's go, Tig. Leo, where's the nest? How should I know? It used to be here. Weird. It couldn't have just disappeared, could it? Stop. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> Did you see the shorty fly out? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's push it up. Come on. Hurry up. Push. Push. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Hey, you. Give us back our nest. Your nest? <laughs> hey, Martins, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The spotty and the stripey make nests now. <laughs> I can't even believe it. <laughs> it's not yours or ours, but the nest does have an owner. Give it back. <laughs> right. First, catch us if you can. <laughs> We're asking nicely. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Tig, we're in so much trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Is this all that's left of my nest? No, no, no. Children, you should be ashamed. We didn't throw it down from the tree. They did. That's right. They did. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Mappa, we were just playing hide and seek and then it fell down. I didn't mean to. And then we just thought that it had no owner. We are very sorry. Yeah. We're very sorry. Please forgive us. Wise men would say that there can only be a wrong path, but never a hopeless situation. But this is the end. Ah, oh, children, children. Mappa Pendiga, we're going to fix everything. Oh, listen, guys. I've got an idea. Leo, is this one nest material? For the roof? Sure. And these? Just perfect. Put them there. Okay. Right. Spike, let the spotty and the stripey do the work. That's right. What are we here for? Stop asking and start collecting. All right. A little more. Okay, and one more. Good. Mila, you need to stop. It's already pretty. Tig, call him. Okay. Ooh. It's done! Come and have a look! <laughs> the 
creeks bring more light, and following spring, I also came back. It's such a surprise. Hmm. <laughs> well then, wanna race? The first one to that bush wins! Come on! Going on the count of three. One, two, three! 